and I'm 13. My name is wider and flatter than most people's. It's something I've formed with. And the long name for it is from so many of those very faithful places. <laughs> I use this name when I'm too busy. The first time I realised I had any kind of condition was when I was four and I went to my local village primary school for the first time. The other children stared and asked questions like, What's wrong with you or what happened to you? They didn't understand and neither did I. It was confusing and scary to everyone to say anything because I didn't understand I looked different. It was shocking to realise I wouldn't say anything to anyone. After that, I was bullied and the on the primary school. Boys would punch me and try to wreck me to the ground, and girls called me cruel names like Pigman and Bellatoma. The physical bullying was worse. Most of the time, I was too big and too scared to go into the playground. They were so out of touch in my primary school that the teachers kept me inside until I felt better and told the children to stay away from me, so I ended up on my own. They suggested I see an educational psychologist when it affects my schoolwork. They were thinking I'm learning difficulty. <laughs> but when the report came back to me, it showed I was actually very able, but in an oppressive environment. One day, when I was nine years old, I had enough, so I just got off and went home. That caused quite a stir, and it was soon after that my parents got in touch with changing cases to help and advice. Someone from the charity came to the school, and thankfully things got much better from there on. My next school got a from the start. They had a meeting with, with the people from changing cases in the month. They know that looking different is like having something else to deal with and that it's support that I need to help me cope with other children's behaviour and reactions. Curiosity about my parents is now treated appropriate to the manner in which it's done. I'm pretty really happy though. But it's not just children who react to my parents in a negative way. Adults do too. Every grown adult has to learn how to handle people's reactions so I can feel good about myself. When I was younger, I remember thinking, I remember thinking that everybody was angry at me the way they used to look at me. And um, now, if someone says to me, or keeps looking back, often smile and mouth and words, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Strangers then have low expectations of me. They assume that because I look different, I must have learning difficulties. I still get asked if I need a help sheet by new or supply teachers. And some strangers give me nervous sideways glances and speak to me in a way that suggests I might not understand them. Now I can see someone wondering about my food. Well, generally using a more complex vocabulary. <laughs> People sometimes ask me when I'll have plastic surgery to push it right. It doesn't seem to enter their head, but I might not want more surgery, or that I might be happy with it. Like it. There is more to a person's image than just their physical appearance. And surgery is not a solution for the people's actions. But to grow up, constantly being thought of as normal, when I just simply have an unusual face, does have an effect. I became lonely, self-conscious, and thought I was worth less than normal-looking people. I stopped doing anything at school, and became really sad. I was coming home and came to my parents at every single time, and go to my bedroom and cry. Changing faces showed me, my family and teachers, how to deal with this long-term negative pressure. And that's why I got involved in the Changing Faces for Children campaign for face quality. Because I want to help other children like me by changing people's beliefs about the tomb. It's been a lot of fun so far. The BBC film we saw at home to documentary our involved of our involvement. But the most exciting bit was when the posters were up in the London Underground. I went on a search to see the posters in the station. It was also really interesting working with the advertising industry. The really impressive part of that day for for all of us was when we came out of one station just as it was getting dark and saw ourselves on this giant illuminated space. Bigger than a double of us. <laughs> I never dreamt I would see myself fucking lights in the middle of one. We all felt like film stars. It's exactly that sort of confidence and pride I would like other young children with this feeling to be able to feel more of the time. But it's not always easy to feel like this given other people's assumptions about it. So if you're looking at me tonight and thinking I've got a bit of stuff on it, I'm not likely to achieve much at school 
Oh, but I don't have the confidence to make friends. Please, think again.